everybody, it's Paige Evans. Thank you so much for joining me today for this new process video. This is a layout I made just for fun, just because I've been making a lot of mini albums lately and now I'm feeling the urge and the itch to dive right back into 12 by 12 layouts. So I'm using my Truly Grateful collection with Pink Paisley and these are just a bunch of scraps that I have left over from creating Coptic bookbinding kits and I've saved them for instances just like this, I grabbed one from all 24 pattern papers and I'm using my mini envelope cut file and cutting one of these tiny envelopes from all 24 pattern papers. I didn't plan on using all 24 envelopes on the layout, but I did want to have the option, so that's why I cut them off. And now I'm going to machine stitch around each little envelope. So this is probably the part that took the longest and thank you to my dear husband Chris Evans, Captain America, for filming this. And so I machine stitched around three of the outer edges of this, it's kind of like a diamond shape, and then three, the three straight edges of the inner envelope flipped it over and then machine stitched across that last tab and I just wanted to have some texture and interest for all of the envelope envelopes it just helps things stand out from the background more when there's stitching going on and I use a brother sewing machine that I got from Walmart a decade ago and it still works like a charm and I use just a regular needle nothing fancy just when you go buy replacement needles, it's just a standard needle. To put the envelopes together, I just added some super sticky double-sided tape on the edges of the bottom flap and then folded everything into place. Uh, for the background, I am going to use the B side of paper one, which is this salmon-y pink polka dot paper. And this is the arrangement that I'm gonna go with. So I've used five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. I've used 18 envelopes and I have set the other six aside. Wait, is that 24, 18, 19, 20, 21? Yes. Man, I need, I gotta practice my addition and subtraction. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of mixed media on the background. I am splashing some watered down white acrylic paint with a regular paintbrush and then squeezing some drops. It creates larger drops when you squeeze the paintbrush bristles with your fingers. And then I'm gonna come in with my absolute favorite watercolors, Pastel Dreams by Prima, and picking and choosing colors that match the Truly Grateful collection. And you can't really see all of these colors on the background unless you're really looking up close, but I love the tiny little pops of color that they do add. And I'm coming in with my other favorite watercolors, Tropicals, also by Prima. It has some richer, deeper, darker tones that are also in Truly Grateful. So before I took all the envelopes off, I took a picture. I kind of arranged them in rainbow order. Not really, but I sort of kept the colors similar. So I've got the whites across the top, purples, pinks, greens, and then blues at the bottom. And so after the paint dried, I am putting these envelopes back in place. While the paint was drying is when I picked my pictures. Uh, I'm using four one and a half inch square pictures of Jane. Three are different and one is the same, but I just thought for aesthetically pleasing purposes, it would look best to have four photos, one photo across each row of envelopes, and printed them at home on my computer, on my home printer, and I used Picasa to create the small collages, and I do have a tutorial showing how I do that. So I adhered all the envelopes down with super sticky double-sided tape, and I added the envelope, or the photos, tucked into the envelopes using a foam square so that it lifts off the background, using the thickers to spell Jane, and I just replaced that N with a red instead of the dark purple. I just liked how the red was a little bit more vibrant. And now time for embellishing. So I'm just gonna em embellish each little envelope with stickers and die cuts and wood veneer buttons and things from Truly Grateful. And what I love about using a single collection is everything will match. So you can just pile on little clusters of all these cute things and it's gonna look great because they were meant to go together. And so I'm just pulling in puppy stickers, die cuts, and adding them here and there. Things that Jane loves, butterflies, birds, 
birds. I'm sure you've heard me talk about her obsession with birds. I have to sneak in a bird everywhere I can, anywhere I can when I'm creating a layout about Jane. And then I adhered everything down off camera using different types of adhesive, whether it was a glue dot or foam squares to create those different depths and thicknesses of um, texture different layers so that things pop off the page and it's just really fun to see in person. And there's always room for teeny tiny polka dots. There's some in the epoxy stickers as well as the puffy stickers and I like to add those tone on tone. They're just like little bits of candy that you want to eat, <laughs> but don't eat them. And for journaling, I tucked these two cards into the pocket. So this is kind of an interactive layout. You won't be able to see the journaling once it's in a page protector, but hopefully when people are looking at these pages, when they're looking through my scrapbooks, they'll notice that there is journaling tucked in there and then you can just easily pull it out and read what I had to say about these cute pictures of Jane. So that's it, easy peasy. This layout came together super quickly with the, with the help of a mini envelope cut file and using my Truly Grateful collection with Pink Paisley. It all came together quickly. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you again soon. Have a great day.